On Thursday, the 18th of February, 2021, family and friends of the Williams gathered at the 81 Division of the Nigerian Army Officers Mess, Marina Lagos, for the Christian Wake and Night of Tribute in honor of the late Brigadier General Olufemi Joseph Williams retired, who passed on to eternal glory on the 2nd of February, 2021, at the age of 78. The late Brigadier General Femi Williams retired was born on the 11th of July, 1942, in Ibutemeta, Lagos, to the family of Mr. Claudio Bonford Olulola Williams and Mrs. Henretta Ibidun Williams, both of blessed memory. He was a career soldier, a military strategist and a technician, a sound administrator and diplomat. He attended St. Paul's Catholic School, Lagos. St. Gregory's College of Balinda, Lagos, where he sat for and passed the Waiek examination in 1962. Later, he proceeded to the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, Mons Officers Cadet School, Aldershot, England. He also attended the United States Army Institute of Administration, Indianapolis, USA, John Hopkins University, Washington, D.C., USA, just to mention a few. He joined the Nigerian Army as a cadet officer in 1968. He was among the officers selected for further training in Mons Officer Cadet School, Aldershot in the United Kingdom. He was commissioned into the Nigerian Army in 1968 and held numerous positions, among which were Company Commandant, Federal Guard, now BDE of CDS in 1968. He was Deputy Assistant Quartermaster General from May 1970 to November 1970. Cornell General Staff 3, Army Division Headquarters Joss. Director, Defense Administration, Defense Headquarters Lagos from 1994 to 1996. He retired voluntarily from the Nigerian Army on the 15th of April 1996. The service began with a series of hymnal renditions after which the children of the deceased, Yinka and Sheyu Williams, took the Bible readings. In the sermon, Reverend Father Martins Awoinka noted that life is a precious gift given to us, which we would definitely give account of. He urged the congregation to live a life of purpose here on earth as it determines where we would spend eternity. Let the cats come to us, therefore, today to remind themselves the life that God has given what he will do for it. How do we enhance life? How do we support life? Let us also say here, because God gives life, no one has the right to take life in any form. In any form, no one has the right over it. It belongs to God. And the best we can is to support life. Our father has done his best. Supported life, supported people, put smiles on many people's faces. The video clip I saw on the 75th birthday said so much about him. Of course, we will not be ready to give a voice. We will just open up of time for one another. So we pray that we will not even soon through the mass of God. And the source of love of which we will be able to do is a very most important place. Amen. Later on, more hymnal renditions were sang after which the Holy Communion was administered. In a short tribute session, family members and friends spoke highly of the deceased and said he would be dearly missed. Tony was a fantastic in law. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. 
where do I start and where do I start? On behalf of late Nazi Ele Nobi on his family, incidentally, I'm the only one standing who came to represent the family. I wish Femi a beautiful journey. Femi, I am sure, is, with, is resting in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will be so rest in perfect peace. He was very, very influential as a deputy defense attaché. He was a good soldier. He's a maintained and maintained soldier. And he's also a soldier of Christ. And he will be remembered by many Gregorians. And he will also be remembered by many Lagosians in the military. The Nigerian Army Band also gave a short performance to bid one of their own farewell. The vote of thanks was delivered by the son of the deceased, Femi Williams Jr., as it brought the service to an end. As part of activities in honor of the late Brigadier General Olufemi Joseph Williams retired, a mass was held at the Church of Assumption, Falomo Ikoyi, Lagos, on Friday, the 19th of February, 2021, which was impressively attended by men of the Nigerian Army, members of the Knight of St. John International, where he rose from second lieutenant to a colonel, and members of his alma mater, St. Gregory's College of Balinda, Lagos, who all came to pay their last respects to one of their own. Known as the Gentle General, the late Brigadier General Olufemi Williams retired was a career soldier, a military strategist, administrator, and diplomat. He is the elder brother of the late engineer Anthony Olufunsho Williams, an influential politician and former governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Lagos State, who was assassinated in 2006 at the age of 58. The funeral mass for the late Brigadier General Olufemi Williams retired began with a processional hymn as his remains was carried into the church auditorium. After a series of Bible readings, Reverend Father Gowok Gabriel gave the word for the day, which he titled, Preparing for Life and Preparing for Death. He said the late Brigadier General Olufemi Williams retired, was prepared for death because he reconciled with his family and maker, which the preacher said, not everyone may be that privileged. Reverend Father Gowok Gabriel charged the congregation to live according to God's commandments, saying death can call at any time. I want to greet the family of the late general, his wife, Eunice Williams, the children, the grandchildren, you relations. I want to greet you at this particular time. And I think, not think, I am also a member of the family because when the general was in Jaws, he gave me a Yoruba name. I am an Angas man, but he told me you belong to this family and I'm giving you a Yoruba name. And the Yoruba name he gave me is Baba Tunde. So he calls me Captain Tunde. So I'm also in the army. It has been a wonderful time with him. A humble general, he feared God. Go through his biography and you will see that this humble man tried his best. This humble man prepared himself. From testimonies we heard yesterday and from my own personal experience of his life as a spiritual director, he has tried. He has lived a good life. We pray that the blood of Jesus will purify him and sanctify him and present him to, before the throne of mercy. 
General Ulufemi Joseph Williams. Good night until we meet at the feet of Jesus, at the morning of the resurrection. Rest in peace, great one. After the sermon, the Associate Parish Priest, Church of the Assumption, Falomo, Reverend Father Samuel Emenogo, supervised the administration of the Holy Communion, after which the Parish Priest, Reverend Father Pius Amofoma, on behalf of the Church, expressed his condolences to the Williams' family and encouraged them to accept that their father has lived his time on earth and has gone home to his resting place, a place without pain. A place without panic. The choir later on led in the recessional hymn as the rooms of the late Brigadier General Olufemi Joseph Williams retired, was taken to his final place of rest. From Biscon Communications, we pray that the soul of the late Brigadier General Olufemi Joseph Williams retired. Rest in perfect peace. Amen. <laughs>